It is 9, 10 p.m. Monday morning, May 23rd, 2022, aboard Amtrak Tri-Weekly Train 51, the Cardinal, headed from Philadelphia to Chicago Union Station. We're in Dalton, Illinois. Just been stopped here at the Indiana Harbor Belt Diamonds. We're about to cross the Indiana Harbor Belt East-West Line that goes in this direction to Hammond, Indiana area and goes around Chicago. We're on the Union Pacific Railroad now, former Chicago and Eastern Illinois. <clears throat> I am in Viewliner, the one revenue sleeping car, Viewliner 1. Room H. H stands for handicapped. I am not handicapped, but Amtrak on the last couple of trips, Amtrak has uh, let me book Room H in Superliner Roomettes and this Viewliner 1 sleeping car. Here we go over the Indiana Harbor Belt. We are due to arrive Chicago Union Station at 10 a.m. This train originates at Penn Station Moynihan Train Hall, New York City. We have one General Electric locomotive, two Amfleet coaches, one Amfleet Cafe car, this Viewliner 1 sleeper. And bringing up the rear behind this car, a Viewliner 2 baggage dorm car for the crew and baggage. And Melanie, my sleeping car tenant, says on the return trip Chicago to New York City, <clears throat> Amtrak will sell revenue space in the baggage dorm car for revenue passengers in addition to the crew be using it as a dorm. Departing Manassas, Virginia yesterday afternoon, we had 12 passengers, including me in this Viewliner 1 sleeper, and 93 passengers in the two Amfleet coaches. I boarded this train at Departed Philadelphia 30th Street Station on time yesterday morning at 8.18 a.m. I think we have a chance of arriving Chicago Union Station on time at 10 a.m. Yesterday we were running about one hour late because north of Charlottesville, Virginia, we took siding for a northbound Amtrak train, possibly the Crescent that runs from New Orleans to New York City.
this. I believe we just went over the former Illinois Central Main Line, now Canadian National North South Line, North South Line that runs between Chicago and Memphis and New Orleans, Louisiana. one of my two favorite Amtrak trains in the east because it runs through the heart of West Virginia yesterday. The other favorite is the Amtrak Pennsylvania, uh, that section between Pittsburgh and Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, through the heart of the Allegheny Mountains and rounding the world famous Horseshoe Curve just west of Altoona, Pennsylvania.
have one final look at this fabulous sleeping car Viewliner 1 Room H. Even has a ladder to go to the upper berth, which Amtrak Superliner sleeping car roomettes do not have a ladder. one of my UK magazines I subscribe to. I won this photo taken at Cincinnati Union Terminal in the locomotive service area last week at the Pennsylvania Railroad Technical and Historical Society annual convention in Harrisburg, PA, uh, in a raffle. And then here is the upper berth that comes down level for sleeping at night. And these cars are called view liners because you have the, win the windows at the ground level and at the upper level. So even when you're you're in the upper berth laying down you have a window to look out and then there's this connecting room where we have a shower right here we have a sink washstand and a commode and also down the hallway at the end of the other end of the car is a shower available to all sleeping car passengers. Here's a view looking out into the hallway area. Next car ahead is the M Fleet Cafe car, which is very convenient. getting near downtown Chicago, near Chicago Union Station. Slowing down, maybe we're about to encounter some freight train interference at a diamond crossing or a junction. sleeping car attendant Melanie speaking on the PA system. And it is 9.27 a.m. Monday morning, May 23rd, 2022, aboard Amtrak's tri-weekly train number 51, the Cardinal nearing Chicago Union Station, over and out. <laughs> 